Today I'm filming the 2021 AMG A35. As you guys can see, it's right behind me. My test is painted in this mountain gray exterior paint, which is a $2,500 charge. Honestly, I would recommend getting it. It looks really good with the black accents here. But looking at the front fascia here of the A35, this car is aggressive, it's low to the ground. I like the stance that this car has. I like the three-pointed Mercedes emblem there with the split bar. There's also this AMG badge right here in the grill. I like this mesh grill here. There is front parking sensors. And of course, Mercedes does throw the emblem on top of the uh, hood here. Honestly, this matte paint does look really good. Looking at these headlights here, they're going to be a full LED with an automatic low and high beam with an LED daytime running light with an LED turn signal. There's also this aggressive front lip splitter here. And Mercedes does have this opening here to put an air curtain over the brakes. I want you guys to comment down below in the comment section. What do you think about the A35 here? Of course, Mercedes is doing everything AMG. Even on the entry level car here, this car looks aggressive, like I mentioned, and it's really bold. But look, making our way to the side profile here, looking at these wheels, these are a 235-35 tire. These are an $800 option uh, rim setup here. They are 19-inch multi-spoke uh, finish. I like the gloss black uh, trim that Mercedes throws in here. You also have these AMG Pacific brakes. The rotors are cross-drilled and ventilated. Looking here on the side fender, there's this Turbo Plus 4-matic. Basically, that's Mercedes' way of saying that they have all-wheel drive. Mercedes does give you all-wheel drive as standard here on the A35. This is LED side marker here. And Mercedes also gives you this panoramic sunroof as standard equipment. Making our way to the rear here of the A35. This is aggressive rear spoiler here, which I really like to give this thing more downforce. Looking at these tail lights here, they're going to be a full LED with an LED turn signal and LED brake light with an LED reverse light. There's your AMG badge there. There's a three-pointed emblem here. Also the A35 badge there. There's the standard backup camera. Once you put the car into reverse, the backup camera will pop out. And also Mercedes does throw an LED lights here for the tag. Down here at the lower part of the uh, bumper here. I do like this aggressive bumper here. Also, there's black dual tip exhaust back here as well. It's just a four cylinder, it's not an uh, inline six or anything like that. But open up the car capacity, Mercedes says you get 8.6 cubic feet of space. And underneath here, Mercedes does give you a fix a flat kit instead of a spare tire. Sitting inside the interior of the 2021 AMG A35, looking here at this interior, honestly, I'm impressed with this interior. Of course, you guys know Mercedes can do a luxurious interior and they're not disappointing here on the A35 here, but shutting the door. I noticed with this door, you have to basically slam it because if you soft close it, it's not going to close completely. But to start up with the A35 here, just put your foot on the brake and press the start stop button right there. Looking here, my tester does have these two 10.5 inch displays here. And honestly, you guys know that I like the way this looks. Um, Mercedes, they do throw in a seven inch display, which honestly is really small. It's probably like this big and it's uh, basically filled up with a bunch of unused real estate around the screen. But I would recommend going for the bigger screens here, which that my, which my tester has here. But looking at the door panel material, it's gonna be a soft touch ejection molded plastic. There is three level heated seats here on the door. Uh, you can also get ventilated seats for a $950 charge. And also Mercedes does charge you for the heated seats, which is an insult in my honest opinion here. But looking here, there is three person memory seat here. There's your seating controls there on the door panel. This is this aluminum uh, trim here on the door panel as well. Your lock control is gonna be here. There's a real metal door handle, nice grab handle here to close the door. It is one touch up, one touch down for the rear and one touch up and one touch down for the front windows here. You cannot powerful the mirrors in here. I wish you could, that would have been a nice touch. There is some suede Alcantara here on the door panel with red stitching. Over here is gonna be additional storage and cup holders. There's your turning signal stock and one wiper stock here. And this is how you put the car into drive, neutral, and reverse here from this stock here. But you have to put your foot on the brake first and switch up for reverse, as you guys can see. You guys know Mercedes does one of the best backup cameras here in the industry. There is a uh, wide mode here. I'm surprised to see that there's, a, there's no top-down 360 view. Of course, I know this car is small, but I wish Mercedes would offer that feature. But to put it into drive, you just click the stock down to go into drive, and you press this button here to put it into park. There is an automatic start-stop function here. You can, turn, you can turn it on or off if you would like. Over here is going to be for the electronic parking brake. The headlight controls are here. Your dimmer switches. There is real metal paddle shifters here on the steering wheel. I do like the airbag cover here. It does have the three-pointed Mercedes emblem. This does have adaptive cruise control. And my tester does have uh, blind spot monitoring there. Over here, you can uh, use this little trackpad here to cycle through the uh, screen here. And also, this little trackpad is for the uh, 
screen here you can customize these gauges and whatnot or to show you different information and whatnot like i showed you i showed you guys this interior once before so i'm not going to go too much into depth with this interior here i do like this d cut steering wheel there's your amg badge down here with some aluminum trim here it looks really nice i like this little red uh, piece here on the top of the steering wheel i like the leather i'm not a big fan here of the suede arcantara here on the uh, steering wheel here because i hand creates oil and over time it's going to wear down the uh, arcantara here i do like these three large uh, air vents here there's your amg badge here on the dashboard i like the stripes there the other part of the dashboard here is going to be a soft touch ejection mode to plastic. Even here, it's going to be a soft touch ejection mode to plastic. Uh, down here, this is going to have these toggle switches for the climate control. This does have a dual climate control. And the passenger here does get its own set of three level heated seats as well. Like I mentioned, you have to go uh, for the option. You have to go for an option to get the cool seats. Over here, it's additional storage here. If it's my iPhone 11 Pro Max, just fine. It's a deep amount of storage. There is two cup holders here. There's the USB-C to connect for the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. There's this trackpad here. There's a back button, sync and track. Also a dedicated uh, button here for home. It does have different drive modes, which shows you uh, slippery, individual, comfort, sport, and also sport plus. The baffle opens to give this thing more of a deeper growl. Yes, this does have the company's two liter force. And we'll talk about that a little later on in the actual uh, driving scene here. Pressing this little icon here for the car, this shows you things like the active brake assist, attention assist, also with blind spot monitoring that Mercedes has. And press this little start button here that you can set up your favorites here. From uh, clicking this button, you can set the screen up how the way you go like it. And this is for your armrest, so you can swipe through this uh, trackpad here. Over here is going to be navigation, map, radio, media, also a telephone. There's a little rotary knob here for the volume control. I kind of sort of do like this uh, gloss black material here, but it does leave fingerprints. Of course, you guys will constantly be wiping this car down if you have uh, OCD. But there is this 12 volt here. And over here, this is for the, uh, the drive mode as well. Just in case you want to use this uh, toggle switch here, this is for the stability control. My tester does have launch control. I'm going to show you guys that once we get into the driving scene here. The center armrest is going to be nice and padded. There's red stitching here, just like on the door panel. Open up the center console here. It does have a shallow amount of storage in here. There's a USB-C. I do like that it's double hinged. These seats in here, I like the way they feel. They're supportive, but they're not aggressively bolstered. I do like the suede Alcantara here in the inserts with the leather on the outsides here. There is this thigh support here, just in case you wanted to have more support for the lower part of your thighs. And above me, Mercedes does throw in this panoramic sunroof as standard equipment. There is gonna be LED lights throughout the cabin here, which is a nice touch, of course. And I wish Mercedes would have offered a frameless mirror here, but this does have a traditional mirror. There's really no blind spots in this car because it's a compact sedan. Open up the glove compartment here. It does have a good amount of storage in there. But overall, I'm impressed with this interior. I'm always impressed with Mercedes-Benz interior. I do like, like that they throw in these big uh, screens here instead of these seven inch displays, which is really small. Sitting in the back seat here of the A35 here, looking at the leg room, Mercedes says you get 33.9 inches of leg room. This is where I have this seat to drive. I'm only five foot eight. I'm not the tallest person, but there is map pockets back here for storage. There's rear air vents. There is a USB port back here, just one USB port. Surprisingly, Mercedes didn't throw in two USB ports back here, but the floor back here is not flat. There is this rear hump that intrudes into the middle passenger seating here. Looking, looking here at the armrest, Mercedes does throw in two over-engineered cup holders here. I'm surprised to see that Mercedes didn't offer any storage uh, here in the center armrest. And above, Mercedes does throw in this panoramic sunroof as standard equipment, but shutting the door here, the door sounds solid, of course, it's a German car. The materials do continue from the front to the back. There's this uh, metal door handle here with the suede Alcantara here on the uh, armrest. There's red stitching. But overall, the back seat is not a bad place to sit here in the A35. Now the hood open here for the AMG A35. Let's see what powers this thing. This has the company's AMG enhanced turbocharged engine. It's a two liter four cylinder. It makes 302 horsepower. 295 pound feet of torque it's paired with a seven speed dual clutch transmission and as the a35 sits it weighs 3500 pounds mercedes says zero to 60 and 4.6 seconds all wheel drive does come standard fuel economy is rated at 22 in the city 29 on the highway and 25 combined premium gas is required we'll start off in the 2021 mercedes-benz amg a35 here this has the company's two liter four cylinder it's a amg enhanced turbocharged engine it makes 302 horsepower and 295 pound feet of torque 
and this pair of the seven speed dual clutch transmission designed by Mercedes of course Mercedes is known for having one of the fast shifting uh, transmission in the industry and honestly with the with their dual clutches I have no problems it knows what gear to be in it's always in the meter of its power band of course um, fuel economy really quick is rated at 22 in the city 29 on the highway and 25 combined and of course you have to put premium gas in this thing here uh, Mercedes will be offering an A45 and an A45S and unfortunately in America we will not be getting neither one of those cars so hopefully Mercedes sees this video and they were, would reconsider getting that but 302 horsepower is adequate power and honestly for a car that weighs around 3500 pounds the acceleration Mercedes says is 0 to 60 in 4.6 seconds and all wheel drive does come standard and she will come on every time you say hey Mercedes cancel I'm sorry can you say that again please Basically, she could do anything. It does have the augmented reality, so it will show you turn-by-turn -turn navigation if you were driving to go somewhere. But this being the <laughs> AMG A35 here, that two liter is responsive, but the ride quality, even in comfort mode, like I mentioned here, man, we don't have the best road, so it's a, it's a little jittery in certain parts of the road, but on smooth surfaces here, uh, the car does ride pretty good but if you go over a bump you're gonna feel it and that's even in comfort mode but you can op option in the adaptive suspension which I highly recommend getting to give this thing more of a nicer ride if you live here in Miami because if you guys live here in Miami you guys know we don't have the best roads but this thing is really good it puts the power down just fine uh, but this thing it handles good even in sport I mean even in comfort mode here uh, yeah you would definitely pick up speed really quick and handling in comfort mode it's it's honestly it's really firm honestly there's really no play in the steering wheel but let's put this thing into sport plus mode here like I mentioned, you make 302 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque from a seven-speed dual clutch, of course. You heard from the exhaust, it's popping a little bit. You can't really hear it too much, but it's definitely popping and the handling on this car is really good. Yeah, the exhaust is pretty good. I like the way that the exhaust sounds, even though it's kind of muted in a sense. But the seven speed dual clutch is really fast to shift. It knows what gear to be in. And this thing in sport plus mode, it, it handles really good. But let's do a launch control here really quick. Mercedes makes it pretty simple. You turn the traction control off. You have it in a sport plus mode. You hit the accelerator and the brake. Yeah, 0 to 60 in 4.6 seconds. I could believe Mercedes-Benz when they say that. Um, and this car weighs 3,500 pounds. So this thing is like legit a rocket on four wheels. And I'm, honestly, I'm really impressed on how the way this car drives. The steering feel is really good. You can definitely attack some back roads with no problem. And the exhaust, it sounds good as well, but I wish it would have intruded into the cabin just a little bit more. But maybe Mercedes wasn't going for uh, that. Uh, when they were building this car but the exhaust sounds pretty good even though it sounds really muted and honestly this car sounds pretty good but let's do another launch control here so foot on the brake accelerator This little car is pretty fast. Honestly, if you're looking for a car that makes over 300 horsepower in the compact luxury uh, segment here, the A35 has your name all over it because the zero to 60 time exactly is what Mercedes says, 4.6 seconds. Uh, the cargo in the back there is rated at 8.6 cubic feet of space. So you can put light items in there. If maybe if we're going grocery shopping, you can put a couple of items from the grocery store. Uh, but Mercedes does offer the CLA 
uh, 35 or 45. This has the same powertrain as that car, but I think it makes a little bit more horsepower around 382 horsepower, but it does have a bigger trunk. So if you're looking for more trunk space, you have to check out the CLA. Uh, the seats in here, they're comfortable, they're supportive. They're not aggressively bolstered. Um, I like that they have the suede Arkantara and the uh, inserts and they have the leather on the outside. Uh, my Tesla does have three level heated seats here. Mercedes does let you get a, a cool function for like $900. And fifty dollars. So it, honestly, I would recommend going for the cool seats as well. And they do charge you for the heated seats, which I'm surprised because normally they just give it to you as standard equipment. But Mercedes does charge you uh, for the heated seats here. But overall, the driving dynamics of this car is really good. I like the performance, especially the zero to sixty timing. The handling is phenomenal from the A35 here. Even though my Tesla has these low profile tires, they're a 235-35 tire. See, this car is really good. I like the way that it drives. I like the way that it handles. The exhaust sounds pretty good. The seats in here, they're good. I like this interior. It's upscale. It's modern. So Mercedes, they did, they, they did a really good job for the entry-level car here. This is an entry-level car. This is an 835. I think the 8220 is the entry-level car, but for this to be an entry-level car as well, and then for it to have the AMG uh, enhance uh, things uh, to have the AMG uh, performance a lot of people don't like that Mercedes is just throwing AMG everywhere in their lineup but honestly why not give everyone a chance to get an AMG car or SUV and at this price point it's really worth getting because like I mentioned this car is gonna be designed for handling of course attacking uh, back roads and whatnot but this car handles really good there's the body roll. The steering wheel is gonna point where you, the steering wheel is gonna go where you point it at. And honestly, you can't go wrong with this car. So after spending time with the 2021 AMG A35, this thing drives like a freaking rocket. It has really good performance. If you're looking for a compact sedan that offers over 300 horsepower, the A35 has your name all over. So how much does the A35 cost? Sighting price for my tester here is at $45,850. My tester has some optional equipment which rolls in the metallic paint which is $2,500. The aero package, which is around $1,500, including the 19-inch AMG uh, multi-spoke wheels, which is 800 bucks. My tester has an ass tested price of $55,000. $75. I'll give a special thanks to Mercedes-Benz of Cutler Bay for providing me with the 2021 AMG A35. If you're in the market for an A35, you can come to Mercedes-Benz of Cutler Bay and ask for Lewis. He'll get you into a new used or pre-owned vehicle. Hope you guys have enjoyed my full overview on the 2021 Mercedes-Benz A35. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at Drive On Reviews and please keep subscribing to my YouTube channel and I'll catch you all in the next video.